This is Solar Impulse 2, attempting a flight around the world using only solar power. The journey will test the plane and its pilots to their limits, but is five days and nights crossing the Pacific Ocean too great a challenge? When we take off from one coast to cross the ocean, this is the moment where you cannot stop and you have to accept the unknown. We plan to fly at least five days, five nights, something which was never done, sleeping only 20 minutes at a time. As soon as you leave the area of the Japanese coast, there will be no chance to go back. If you have an airplane that can fight against the winds better than this one, you can always turn back and return to where you started. With this one, you cannot. And I tell you, the Pacific, it's really long. I think in Solar Impulse, there will clearly be some physical points of no return. And at that point, you have to put your faith in the preparation. You also have the support of insurance companies like Swiss Re. I think for both Swiss Re and Solar Impulse, cautious risk management is very crucial. When you're dealing with uncertainty, you want to be safe rather than sorry, particularly if human lives are at stake. We run a horizon scanning process, so we try to pick up early signals of various developments that could become relevant for us and for our clients. And we share our findings with our clients to help them understand their potential future exposures and to develop solutions together. I think we are now in a situation where in terms of climate change and pollution, we are very close to a moment of non-return. If we want to protect the environment, we need to replace the old polluting technologies by new clean technologies.